Now the question is, what is a bolometer? Um, it is a detector for radiation and particles and it's usually in the infrared spectrum or in the millimeter, millimeter range. So let's just draw a diagram for a bolometer. So let's just say that this is the absorber and here you've got the sensor. So here's the sensor. Um, it's probably a substrate of some kind. Now the substrate just means that it is connected to the absorber and it's also connected to a heat reservoir. Now a heat reservoir is a heat source that has a large heat capacity. So let me just label this. So this is a heat reservoir, heat reservoir. So this is an absorber. So let's just say you've got infrared light coming in. So this is infrared. So this infrared is coming in. It's hitting the absorber and the absorber is connected to the sensor or substrate. And this is connected to the heat reservoir. And the heat reservoir is a heat source. So something that provides heat with a large heat capacity, heat capacity. So it stays constant because you don't want it to fluctuate too much. So if something has a large heat capacity, you would need a lot of energy to raise its temperature. So if it has a large heat capacity, the temperature will remain largely constant. Right, so what happens when the infrared hits the absorber. Now you should have a temperature here somewhere. So this is like a maybe a, a temperature. Um, not temperature, thermometer. So it's something that measures the temperature. So it's a thermometer. Thermometer, thermometer. So this is the thermometer. Now the absorber should be made of a metal where the temperature increase is proportional to the resistance. So let's just say platinum is a pure metal, let's just say, uh, a pure metal, for example, platinum, where the temperature increase is proportional to the resistance. It's proportional to the resistance. Let's just write that down. Right, so this is, this is a bolometer. So a bolometer is just an instrument that measures the change in radiation, sorry, a change in temperature due to the incident radiation. And it's usually for infrared and millimeter range of the electromagnetic wave. So what happens is that when the infrared light hits the absorber, um, there's a change in temperature and the sensor, the substrate, is connected to the heat reservoir. Now, because there is a constant temperature there, whenever there's a change, there will be a change in resistance. Um, let's just talk about the definition. So the heat reservoir is a heat source with a large specific capacity. Uh, because if it was small, then any changes in temperature will fluctuate, will make it fluctuate. fluctuate. Now... Um, a thermistor, a thermistor could be a bolometer, bolometer, bolometer. And for example, the absorber could be platinum metal, platinum metal. And it's usually, uh, well, in the, in the earliest bolometers in history, they were used to be um, a thin black platinum metal. So that's just what a bolometer is. A bolometer is a measuring device that when the incident infrared light hits the absorber, there's a change in resistance. So the bolometer is a measuring device. So it's just a measuring device, measuring device. It's a measuring device. Um, when the infrared, when the infrared light hits the absorber, so the infrared light hits the absorber, there's a change in temperature. 
So there's a change in temperature and that measures because the resistance will change the resistance will change and this will be recorded this record this will be recorded as a as a voltage difference as a potential difference A bolometer is a detector for radiation or particles. We use bolometers to detect light in the far infrared and millimeter waves. These detectors typically function as follows. An absorber of heat capacity C is firmly connected to a heat reservoir by a weak thermal link. The absorber sees the power of the incoming light and the bolometer works by measuring this change of temperature with a thermometer which is directly attached to the absorber and we use a metal where the change in temperature is proportional to the resistance change.